So what's next? Next is a box of beer from Slurp Beer. Uh -huh. This arrived on Friday, sent through from Richard at Slurp. And uh, somebody's put an enormous glass of wine down on that box. Big like. glass of wine. Look at that. A big dirty wine stain. How dare them? Pretty much every bit of paper in our house looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's just got beer everywhere. <laughs> um, I've got no idea what's inside. I've been waiting for you to come round. Mm -hmm. So uh, this arrived on Friday. It's now Monday evening. So I think we should get this. I think open. we should. Yeah. I have been champing at the bit to get this open. So let's see what's going on in here. It just said he sent a few goodies through. He sent for a few new ones that they've got in there on their website recently. So we should we should check it out. I'm not going to look at the order list. Let's just have a look nicely packaged mm -hmm. so far. Oh, here's a, we've got we've got a big boy. Haven't we just? We have indeed. Right, well, yeah. let's start with that one first. Yeah. Let's see what we've got. Yeva Pilsner. Pilsner. Uh huh. Looks good. 4.9%. Sounds really good. German. How big is that bottle? Yeah, that is 500ml. German Pilsner. What else have we got in here? Small bottle. Silly Saison. <laughs> Summer beer. 5%. That's a, that's, a, that's a little one, that. 250ml, that. Uh -huh. So uh, that's going to be uh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, Saisons, we, we've tried a couple of different Saisons now and we're kind of starting to uh, mm -hmm. quite like the idea. Oh, look yeah. at this. A box. A, a box, box within a box. box. In a box. Is there going to be a cat in a hat inside it? Ooh. Oh, I recognise some of these lids already. <laughs> Let's pull this one out. What's that? Stone St Levitation. Levitation. Mm. 2007 gold winner. We've tried a few stone beards, but not all mm -hmm. of them yet, that so one. that's uh, fantastic. Love yep. the bottle top on there. Yeah. That's Absolutely great. amazing. What's the next? There's another stone one, Stone Pale Ale, 5.4%. Look at that label, San Diego. It's not, yeah, it's not even a label, just screen printed yeah. straight onto the bottle. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Really cool. Got uh, Brooklyn Brewery's East India Pale Ale. Lovely that's styling great. and branding, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Really, really good. That looks excellent. Six point nine percent. So another Brooklyn oh this one's meant to be very Look good. The Brooklyn Black Chocolate Stout. Extra strong dark stout, ten percent. That looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks great already, doesn't it? I can I knew you'd be <laughs> you'd be happy with that one. That looks really appealing. Yeah. Oh the Brooklyn Pen and Tail fifty five. Uh-huh. Not quite sure the background on this one. Um, Slurp were tweeting tonight saying they didn't have an awful lot left and mm -hmm. it's rather limited and special, so it'd be interesting okay. to try that one. What's this? Barrel Organ, all oh right, Wentwell Brewery's Barrel Organ Blues, 4.5%. <laughs> Barrel Organ Blues, That's fantastic. fantastic. Look at that. Is that an, real, uh, an original photograph, do you think, is it? I'm not that. That. Yeah, it looks it. It certainly does, yeah. yeah. Barrel Organ Blues, it's from Derbyshire, brewery in Derbyshire, so mm -hmm. interesting. Nice to have a bit of a mix of some world beers and other ones as well. Canterbury Owls, Foundry Man's Gold, 4%. Mm -hmm. Golden Ale with Citrus and Elderflower, Magnum and Citra Hops. These are all attractive labels so far. They are actually, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. An interesting mix of kind of different styles of them as well. Got Flying Dog, Old Scratch Amber Ale, <laughs> Amber Lager, sorry, <laughs> from Flying Dog. With the after, that, after what I said about labels, look at that one. That's yeah. fantastic, isn't it? This is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. And they've got the flying dog thing on the cap yeah. as well, which is really yeah. cool. Goose Island 312, Urban Wheat. One of the few mm -hmm. Goose Island regular ones we've not tried yet. Yeah. I think this was the one that... Um, Barack Obama swapped for a <laughs> bottle of Hobgoblin, I believe. <laughs> is it really? I think it was. I think he got the rough end of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Another one from Canterbury Owls, Streetlight Porter, 5.8%. Uh -huh. That is a lovely label, mm -hmm. especially with it the is. kind of the, the streetlight. Yeah, and the cathedral, and the three cathedral emblem in the top as well. So. Yeah, 58 as well, there's yeah. a good weight to it there. Yeah. Dark multi porter with strong toffee, chocolate, and licorice. Nice. Oh, sounds yeah. good. Sounds very good. What's this one? Oh, another Canterbury Foundry Red Rye. 5.6%. Mm -hmm. Goodness me, they're going for it, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, Citra and Chinook hops. So, uh, oh. uh -huh. um, that sounds really interesting. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite getting into my red ales at the moment. Yeah. A red rye ale certainly sounds good. And another Canterbury one, Foundry Torpedo. 4.5%. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Cascade and Bramlin hops. And do you know what? 
It's got a ship on the front as well. Oh, <laughs> steady on, my friends. <laughs> steady on. So, uh, yeah, I think. Is that the lot? Yeah, that's the lot. There's nothing hiding down the back of there, you think? No, 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 no. <laughs> it would have to be a pretty small bottle. So, that so what is, have we got there? Look at that. That Look is a that fantastic look. selection, isn't it? That looks really brilliant. Cracking selection of sort of English ales and American craft beer stuff yeah. and some rest of world things. So that yeah. looks really fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Are we going to try some of these on uh, Wednesday then? Yeah, we've got Paul from Source Deli coming around on Wednesday. So we'll pick out uh, probably a couple of these to try with him. Maybe the Brooklyn Black Chocolate mm -hmm. Stout might have to get opened and maybe one of the... Uh, one of the uh, Canterbury Ales ones yep. or something like that. But uh, thank you very much, Richard, from Slurp Beer. Fantastic selection. Look out, everybody, for uh, audio reviews of these on the website. And uh, if you're interested in any of these beers, then get yourself to slurpbeer.co.uk and get yourself ordering some decent ale. They thank you great. very much, Slurp.